Right, so in this example, we're going to convert an equation this time instead of a point from Cartesian to spherical. Now, consider the equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 9. Obviously, this is the equation of a sphere, right? So that's 0. Uh, H and K are obviously 0 in this case. Um, but... So basically, you know, we know what x is, right? We know what y is. We know what z is in terms of spher uh, spherical coordinates. So what we can do is we can actually plug those values in, simplify, and hopefully it turns out something to something really nice, and we can get a really nice answer. So let's do that. So, so we know what x is. We know x is rho sine of phi cosine theta. So let's plug that in. Right, so that's um, so obviously if you square this, you're going to get something like rho squared sine squared phi cosine squared theta, right, for the x term, then parentheses, right, plus y squared, right, and y is um, rho rho squared sine phi squared sine theta squared, or sine squared theta, excuse me, um, plus the z term, which is just rho squared cosine squared phi, and this is going to be equal to 9. All right? So I know this looks really intimidating, and uh, you have sine squares and cosine squared thetas and all kinds of stuff all over the place. But if you notice, there is a row squared in each of these three terms here. So we can actually factor that out. So let's do that, and hopefully we'll get something that looks a little bit better. And uh, we'll see where to go from there. All right, so we have row squared. There's a different color here to signify that I'm factoring something out here. So we have a little bracket. All right, and what's left from the x squared term, right, we have a sine squared phi cosine squared theta, right, plus sine squared phi sine squared theta plus cosine squared right and this is going to be equal to equal to 9 right all right so we factored that out, factored that out and let's see what else we can do here um, what I'm going to do here is just look at the first two terms, right? The x squared term and the, and the y squared term, right? These two guys here. We're gonna forget about the z squared uh, for just a second. So we can see here that there is, uh, common to both terms, we see that there's a sine squared phi in both of these, right? So let's just go factor that out, just for the, sort of a why not. And hopefully we'll get something that looks nice. Well, is nice, and maybe we can uh, do something from there. All right, so we factored out a row squared, right? That's still there. Now we're going to factor out a. Um, there we go. We're going to factor out a sine squared phi, right? So sine squared phi, right? That comes out. And we're going to use a different color here. All right, a little bracket. Now, what's left of the first term, the x squared, is cosine squared theta, right? And then plus, well, we just factored this out, so there's a sine squared theta, right? And we'll put a, the other part of our bracket here, all right? Blue, forget, don't forget about a z term here, z squared, excuse me, plus cosine squared phi, right, and our other bracket, oh, there we go, is going to be equal to, right, so that's equal to 9, okay, 
So technically, from a technical uh, sense, we haven't really changed anything. We just factored some uh, some stuff out, and so this is still equal to this, right? So notice the fact that notice the fact that um, let's see where I can write this right up here, right? That sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1, right? Very famous trigonometric identity involving sine and cosine. And you can see here that we have a, sine, a cosine squared plus a sine squared, which is just the same thing as a sine squared plus a cosine squared, right? So this ends up being just 1, right? So that actually cancels out. Right, so because one times anything is just that same thing, so we can just forget about that, right? And just we're left with just sine squared of phi. So let's rewrite that now. What we have left, rho squared, and uh, have a little word thing here, and we're left with sine squared phi times one, but I'm going to leave the one out just for you know because. Anything multiplied by 1 is itself, right? And then we're left with the z term, cosine squared phi. Cosine squared phi, right? Get rid of this. Cosine squared, let's rewrite that phi. Cosine squared phi, right? And this is going to be equal to 9. Now, the same thing here. It doesn't necessarily have to be theta, it can be phi, it can be a, it can be whatever. Just as long as this angle is the same as this angle, which phi, right, this phi is the same as this phi, so that's fine. Sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, so we get the same thing again, right? So that is 1. So then rho squared times 1 is just rho squared, right? So then we have, um, we have rho squared is equal to 9, which obviously... Square root of 9 is 3, right? So then rho is equal to 3. So the equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 9, even though initially it was incredibly intimidating, turns out to just be rho is equal to 3, which is really simple. And, uh, and that's pretty cool. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you all in the uh, next video.